A24 and Alex Garland released a new trailer for their controversial upcoming film, Civil War. I'm going to take a look at this trailer next. Hey everyone, it's the Outlaw John Roca. How you doing on this Tuesday? Hope your week is starting out well. Thanks so much for clicking play on this trailer reaction. I'm looking forward to taking a look at this new trailer for Civil War, this film from Alex Garland. Uh, I did a trailer reaction for the first trailer and was really blown away by the gutsiness of uh, putting this down into film and putting it out there for people to consume at a time when we are so politically divided. We are. It is a, essentially a powder keg out there, tribalism all over the place, people dividing each other, but also what I've noticed recently, a very strong drive to find the middle ground, to find some positivity, to find some belief and some hope going forward in the future. So I wonder if this film shows us the bleakness of the possibility of a future civil war between all of us here in the country and actually has a positive message by the end saying this could be the result if we don't handle our stuff now. And this one follows Kirsten Dunst as a reporter who is tracking down this story and trying to figure out what's going on amidst all these battles and what have you. And you've got Nick Offerman in here as the president as well. So I like Alex Garland. I think he's a fantastic director. really enjoyed Annihilation and, of course, Ex Machina. Fantastic film. So I'm very curious to see what more footage we're going to get in this trailer. Let's not waste any time. Let's bring up this trailer and take a look at this second official trailer uh, for Civil War. Citizens of America. People of the Florida Alliance. You gotta move! And the Western forces of Texas and California. All right, Texas and California coming together. <laughs> we'll welcome back to these United States as soon as their illegal secessionist government is deposed. Wow. Jesus. You don't know what side they're fighting for. Someone's trying to kill us. We are trying to kill them. Fortunately, that's how base it can be when you don't understand what you're doing. Whistling America the beautiful like this. Wow, just leaning into it, aren't they? <laughs> Hardly any dialogue. Oh Jesus. Wow. Whoa. Well, damn. Well, they got me at the end there on that one. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, so only in a minute and 24 seconds of a trailer here. The last one, I think, was two and a half minutes. This one showing us not a lot of dialogue, just hearing Nick Offerman at the beginning talking about the California and Texas coalition and their secessionist governments certainly we've heard the talk of secessionism becoming a bigger and bigger talking point uh from some of our political leaders uh, here in this country and the idea of like well i don't want to fund this and i don't want to pay for that and i don't want to pay for this as if it's that simplistic when it isn't no matter who's talking to you about it but this idea that they could secede it is possible i know a lot of people are making fun of this california and texas and and garland addressed it recently in an interview and he said you know, essentially, these are. I want people to ask these questions. I want people to try to figure out why this would happen this way and why these two states would come together. And the truth is, looking at both of those states, if any two states could survive seceding from the union, it could be it could be Texas and California, based on their GDP, based on their uh, resource uh, heavy uh, locations. The imagery here is very powerful. I mean, just that final shot of blowing up the Lincoln Memorial, that hurts me because I grew up, you know, uh, in D.C. and used to drive into town all the time to see all the the, the um, sites there and uh, go to the Lincoln Memorial many times. Lincoln is one of my favorite presidents. Ironically, one of the people who had people from another party work in his cabinet, if you haven't read that Doris Kearns Goodwin book, it's a great exploration of how he was make, able to make it work with people from different points of views coming together to work uh, for one government here. And the fact that they're blowing that up at the end, not only what Lincoln symboli symbolizes, right, of freeing the slaves, bringing people together, uh, as surviving this first civil war, just kind of there's an implication here, right, that uh, the job's not done. You've got to destroy what Lincoln did if you're from that political point of view. So. 
Yeah. A lot of images here. Uh, the whistling of America the Beautiful, pretty unsettling stuff is here as well. Empty streets uh, and uh, sneaking around on roofs and all this kind of stuff and these war battles and seeing the military flying over. It gets very scary. Um, and, you know, we talk about this stuff with zombies and whatever, but it could be just as dystopian to see um, a government take us over and want to be in control. And from what I understand from the description, Offerman is a president who's been president for three terms. And so pushing his dictatorial points of views and, you know, I certainly have an opinion on that. And uh, someone who would want to do that and someone who's used their rhetoric to say they'd love to be a dictator since day one. Certainly you can see the connections and what Alex Garland is trying to say and the point of view they're trying to have in this movie and how they're trying to get people to react to something like this and realize that this is an actual danger to our country. So um, on that end, I think the film is certainly accomplishing that from the first two trailers and certainly very emotionally, uh, very emotional and powerful images coming through in this one. A lot of stuff presented here in this film. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be an hour and 49 minutes is what they said. So and it's uh, coming out here on uh, April 12th, I believe. Yeah, April 12th. So Put that on your calendar. Well, let me know what you thought about it. Uh, what did you think of this trailer? Uh, did you like it? Did you like the imagery? Did the imagery unsettle you? Does it feel a little too close to home? Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about it. Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? What stood out to you? Uh, what you were hoping to see, uh, even though this is a shorter trailer, let me know down there. Uh, and if I can address it, I'll address it for sure. And remember to hit a, a like on this video, share it on your social media, and subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, so you see we're dropping all the content we do here on the Outlaw Nation channel. And don't forget about the Patreon. We're revving that back up again. Patreon.com slash John Roke. A lot of new benefits coming. The tiers are being updated here today. So take a look and join at wherever you can join, whatever tier works for you, uh, and come and support all we're doing here on the Outlaw Nation channel and have some fun benefits in the process. All right, y'all take care of yourselves. Be well. Civil War coming out on April 12th. Put it on your calendars, and I'll talk to you next time with another brand new trailer reaction here on the Outlaw Nation. <laughs>